New York's Department of Environmental Conservation is hoping to boost the Atlantic salmon population in Lake Champlain and nearby Saranac River using a first of its kind experiment, raising 25,000 young salmon here in the lake in the hopes that the four weeks they spend here will leave a lasting impression on them and that someday in the coming years, they'll return to this same spot to spawn. So this is a very experimental net pen project. We're hoping to rear some Atlantic salmon here in Lake Champlain. This is the first time we've had net pens on Lake Champlain. They've been doing it in Lake Ontario for about 20 years now and had pretty good access with some of the Pacific salmon species. So this year they're also going to try Atlantic salmon over on Lake Ontario on the Salmon River for the first time, kind of the same time period here in April as we're doing it here on Champlain and we'll compare notes later, see what we've found. We would put the cages in and I got to tell you, <laughs> they worked us old men to the bone. Trout Unlimited volunteers have been very helpful getting this project off the ground. The TU guys helped us move them, walk them across the parking lot. It takes at least four people just because of the bulk to move them anywhere. <laughs> so they moved them over here on the grass and then we had the 20 foot PVC floats for each side. They helped us lift those and attach the hose clamps to each of those four hose clamps on each side. And Basically, they were ready to go at that point. We put six cages in, and each one of those cages will accommodate over probably about 4,500 salmon. You know us guys that do our salmon fishing. We, we always want to see more fish in the river, and, uh, and of course, we do it for a lot of reasons. We like the salmon. The salmon are an indicator species of our environment, and so they used to be here, they got extirpated, and now they're here. And so we're, anything we can do to try and, and increase a natural fishery. Who's my bucket crew? Bucket crew over here, quick. We're gonna fill each bucket about half full so you can carry two buckets and stay balanced and not be you know, hurting yourself. So you'll get your two buckets, you'll walk it down the ramp, and we'll start off, and we're gonna get, when you get your bucket, we'll tell you one, two, or three. That's your net number that you're gonna go to. So we're gonna alternate people going through the line. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right here, Nicole. You're net one. The next guy's net two, and net so two. on net three, and then back to one. Net, net two. This year, I think they're scheduled to put like 26,000 up in the river, and we're putting 26,000 here, a total of 52,000. They're trying to see which fish will imprint on the river better and have a better chance of survival. They're DNA traceable. So we have two sets of DNA traceable that are gonna be in these nets so that when the fish mature, uh, hopefully they'll be caught and anglers can take a small fin clip and they can trace that DNA to where the fish was stocked. We're hoping the net pens will help the salmon from the hatchery kind of imprint to a more natural environment, to the river water from the Saranac River here. Um, and then hopefully they will come back to the Saranac River and not say another river or just keep swimming around the lake. With the direct stocking, we just put them in and hope they come back. We have no guarantees. This is an attempt to give them a little more time to get used to this environment and then hopefully come back to the same location. They can sort of smell things in the water that will cue them into a specific location. And early in their life is kind of when salmon in the wild would you know, do this imprinting and really get a feel for their environment. And then they go out, they live in the open lake for a few years, and then they come back and they're looking for that chemical signature in the water. And we're hoping that this net pen program will help them develop that signal and know where to go. This is all part of the Lake Champlain management plan to uh, restore the fisheries that once existed. Well, these fish we're stocking, they think will be, they're a little more tolerant. So we're hoping that their chances of survival and that when they do come up in the river to breed, a majority of their eggs will be successful. I've never done a project like this before. This is it's a pretty big deal. This is pretty exciting. And if it works, then that'll work. Could change the way we do stocking, but it's experimental. So we're just gonna have to wait and find out. The Trout Unlimited volunteers will be feeding and caring for the young salmon during their month-long stay here in the pens. 
While the fishermen are working with the DEC on this project and other efforts to restore salmon to the lake and Saranac River, they're still pushing the state to remove Imperial Dam from the Saranac to allow salmon to move freely upriver. The state, however, is backing a plan that would fix up the old dam and install a fish ladder instead to help get the salmon upriver.